Hmm, interesting, yeah. Okay, open source. I have mixed feelings about open source, but um, my general view on it is it's a good thing, basically, and we do quite a bit of it, and we have made some of our code open source. I think realistically, and in fact, as of other people like the um, Indianapolis Museum of Art, they've done some things on, on an open, uh, like academic publishing um, framework that they've developed in, um, it's, it, they run it on Drupal, but I think you could probably run it on other things as well, it's a schema. And there's Tor ML, Tor ML, which is an XML schema for Tor um, guides and things like that. So we did our digital labels. Um, uh, we produced the software for our multimedia colleague. Uh, he, he essentially does all the fitting of them, commissions the, the design of the physical boxes and, and, and has commissioned software from various people before. But we, we built the software for that. And that uh, we made open source. And although it's open source, it's probably not going to get used by that many people except for developers who will look at the code and steal it and adjust it but they may not actually directly use it certainly. Um, we use uh, open source software for our two main content management systems which are uh, Drupal and uh, 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 Squiz Matrix. Now Squiz Matrix is an interesting one because it is open source but more or less the, the support is only from Squiz so they're the company that developed it and they've made it open source so it's actually technically free software. Um, but it isn't really the same mod, mod, model as uh, Drupal or WordPress or all those, you know, I can't remember the Joomla, is it the other one? So there, there are a few like that. Those are open source, but they have this really established community and that's what really keeps these things going. So like, um, some, like an open source community, uh, well, I suppose it's more of an open community of something like Stack Overflow is a really great thing. So if you just need to know something, it actually doesn't matter what it's in, you just shove it on there and sooner or later somebody on Stack Overflow is, is, wanted to sort of show off their skills enough to actually answer the question. And some of it, it's interesting that whole motivation of, some of it is generosity, some of it is sort of showcasing, and some of it is uh, career building, and they're all, they're all genuine things, but it's very empowering to people to, to if you want to contribute, you can, you can do something for yourself, but you also give things back to the community. So it, um, broadly, it's difficult to not want to work with open source because the whole point of a museum is to you're there to enrich people's lives and make it easier for them to better themselves. So, and that is what open source does. Basically, it collaboratively makes things better instead of one person just sort of selling it, which is like almost completely the opposite model. So, it's it's it it would be perverse not to be open source, but it doesn't always work in every practical situation. I think is the is the broad answer to it. But, uh, 